And nearby, in Six Nations, there it, we recently celebrated the launch of an amazing academy called the STEAM Academy. And this has been done in part with support of IBM to implement an amazing curriculum. It is founded on STEAM. You all know about STEAM, science, technology, ed engineering, arts, and math. And I hope all of you make sure that the A is in STEAM because it's absolutely essential. I met with somebody just a few minutes ago from the National Ballet and um, promised to make sure we give a shout out because the technology is nothing without the arts. Um, so here's to the humanities, long may they live. Uh, <laughs> The STEAM Academy, though, really takes this to the next level because STEAM is the first school in Canada that offers an indig Indigenous students the combination of being able to acquire a high school diploma along with a college diploma concurrently. And students are taking courses, uh, college courses, as early as the grade 10 level. They finish the program in five or six years and they have their Ontario Secondary School diploma as well as a two-year college technician diploma. So I want to really give a shout out to the outstanding work of Rebecca Jamison, who's here, and maybe Rebecca can give a, a wave to us all. She's, she's the genius uh, behind Six Nations Polytechnic, as well as Aaron Hobbs, who is the president of the STEAM Academy. And they are here today with three very special people who I'll ask to stand. Uh, th three of the Academy students, Wayne General, Kayla Choir, Squire and Kristen Tiev. I had the opportunity, thank you so much for being here. I had the opportunity to visit the STEAM Academy and what actually impressed me the very most is not only the amazing technology that they've got there and the fantastic education these young people are getting, but a beautiful blending of technological education with indigenous arts and culture. And so imagine what happens when you've got these fantastic computer-assisted design technology and 3D printers in one room, and in the room next door you have people who are understanding Haudenosaunee arts and culture and history and learning the language and offering programs in Cayuga language and offering the, the ability to be able to have elders who can come in to teach Indigenous knowledge and ceremony and combining that and the technology that will come out of that place will be the best in this country. So kudos to STEAM at, uh, at the First Na Six Nations Polytechnic. There are so many examples of progress to highlight, but there's much more that needs to be done. We have to continue to support the capacity of Indigenous communities across the land to control the delivery of culturally appropriate education. I'm very proud to say that with the result of investments from our government, we are going to reach the time very soon, this year, where for the first time, there will be equitable funding for First Nations on reserve. Stunning that we haven't gotten there yet, but per capita student funding will, for the first time, be as good as or better than provincial per capita funding in every part of this country. <laughs> Education is the key to hope and opportunity for every one of us. And the STEAM Academy shows how to unleash the potential of Indigenous youth, and we need many more programs like it across the country. I hope you and your organizations will be looking at other ways to develop similar partnerships between the private sector and Indigenous communities to design and test some of these creative ways of getting Indigenous youth into the workforce and being able to uh, enjoy what they will be able to contribute there. And later this afternoon, I'm really looking forward to meeting with business leaders and uh, STEAM Academy leaders and students as we explore these kinds of partnerships and find ways that we can particularly make sure that we create uh, self-evident pathways for high-skilled jobs as, uh, as a part of our discussion. 